Good afternoon, morning, or evening, Randomania1. How are you guys doing tonight? I am Z-Man050778, and with me tonight in the booth is Victor Santa Fe. Victor, how are you doing tonight? Hey, good night. And thank you for inviting me tonight. So we're going to have a hell of a race today. We just got one that was very, very exciting and had a, 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 a very unexpected uh, ending, so... Yeah, let's hope this one is that way too. Yeah, absolutely. Let's hope this one has just ex an ex as exciting of an ending, just maybe a little bit quicker than the last one we saw. Yeah, I, I, I was checking the, the seed we're going to be playing. Uh, I'm not sure because I'm using the, the new randomizer that came out this week so so this may be wrong but i think the the runners are gonna be doing zero gems today so this will be very quick and they will start with fire spell reflect four lives uh, the raft cross the hammer and the magic key so wow. we'll see if that is right because i'm not sure but I think that is the, the information we've got for this. Well, that would be amazing if that's true. That would that would ensure a relatively quick seed, I would hope. Uh, just to let you guys know what is at stake tonight here, we have Jay Coper versus Shiner Triple C. Uh, this is a 0-1 matchup here in the Swiss. 
So, and with two wins needed to move on into the bracket stage, the loser will unfortunately be eliminated from this tournament, whereas the winner still has to win one more to get into the bracket. So, hopefully, we're going to have a real good matchup here that ends relatively quickly. We shall see. Yeah, runners are getting ready to, to start. So, yeah, both runners that did the command that that tells us that they are ready. So, in any moment, we're going to start this race. Uh, our countdown here in IRC, so as soon as twitch delay catches up we will in fact have a start to this race so the b one big thing we're going to have to take a look at is how many gems are we going to have to place are we going to have to place all six are we going to have to place two or as victor said maybe we're not going to have to place any let's take a look Yes, yeah, so I was right. It was zero gems, those three spells, and those items. So this is gonna be very quick. They they need to find great palace, and well, uh, they have down stuff. And they may need the glove, but we'll see if any of these players gets into GP without anything to check for luck, because Darling can be in the first room to the right. So glove may be, may not be needed. Fairy fairy may, may not be needed. So yeah, let's see what the players do with this. Yeah, this is an amazing you know set of starting items here, especially with that any with that magical key and having not not having to play zero gems. So we could very well have a very fast seed here. Uh, we shall see though. But you know, first they need to start looking for some of these palaces. Oh, there's the glove. Yeah, so Jay Copper did the 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 Dead Mountain search of, of the caves that were accessible to him that did, didn't pay off pay off. But Shiner got the glove and Jay Copper is about to get the glove, so the glove will not be a concern for neither of the players. So, Victor, you, you play this game, you're in this tournament, so what would be your strategy here? Would it be to go immediately into uh, GP to hope it's a nice, easy, quick, dark link? Or would you want to, you know, maybe hit one of the, the palaces for a uh, little bit of leveling? I, what's your strategy here with a zero with a zero gem scene and having so many good items? I think I, I will do that. I will do. I will go go look for palaces, see what the palaces are, and look for GP and see if it is doable for me. Do like a four-minute grind and then get out and do and get what I need. But well, I've lost uh, two, the, the the two matches I've done, so I am not qualified to to <laughs> do an opinion on this. <laughs> well, hey, you're more qualified than I am, considering how I I completed exactly one Zelda two run before. So you're a little more qualified than I am here. Yeah. So the the guys are getting some experience. Uh, for example, China is doing the way I will do it is getting the iron iron knuckle out of three or six palace three or six. So yeah, we'll see who who gets into GP first. Okay, so it looks like here we have palace three or six here on China's side. And it looks like six. It this does is palace like, six. Yep, this is six, no doubt. We're getting a bit of lag in, in Jay Copper's side. He's in Trophy Cave, and we'll see what item is there. And it is a P-Bag that could be a 500 points P-Bag, and it is, so he's going to take some levels out of it. Meanwhile, Shiner is in the town of Sadia, getting his free spell there. I believe the, the position of the spells they started with are 4, 5, and 6, so he's going to get the spell for the third position. Yeah, they did look like 4, 5, 6, so... Yeah, sometimes you make the mistake of entering a town and, and asking for this guy for the spell, and he says, I already taught you all you, all, all, all you need to know, so 
they lose time for example create or dig check of this randomizer and one of the best players if not the best did that mistake in his la in his last that match so did you check what what spell did china get it was jump it was the jump spell from sorry town yeah that could be helpful in gp yeah, it'll be real helpful getting through some of those, you know, gate rooms, those waffle rooms that you can, you know, jump over, especially if you get some of those bird knights in there that are really being a pain. Yeah, meanwhile, Jane Copper entering a palace that is three or six, maybe three, because color looks a little bit different. Yeah, that definitely looks like three. And there's another 500 point tea bag, and looks like is Copper gonna go to attack three? Hmm. Looks like he's gonna go to magic four, maybe, once to get reflect. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Sometimes you have to choose wisely what level you want the most, depending on the spells you start with. And Shiner picking up his 500 point D bag. Yeah, so at this moment, Jay Copper is doing a little bit better in ter terms of leveling up. And well, they are doing the, 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 the normal early exploration. We can see that the, the chances of GP being in the West are getting kind of low at this moment. But you don't know where Great Palace is in this moment, so we'll see where it takes us. Yeah, exactly. But I don't think we've seen the dock for the raft either, so... I'm wondering if it's through one of these pass-through caves. Yeah, that could be a thing, that it is wood blocked or... or cave blocked. So, yeah, I think I, I haven't seen it either, so, yeah. If I maybe if I was playing I would have take the taken the the rough stop the rough spot as soon as I as I've seen it. So Jake uh, Go ahead. Jake Hopper getting his jump spell out of Sadia. While China getting Bagu, which could be needed, that is also one possibility that uh, the only way to get to the rap spot is through the town of Sari and crossing across the bridge. So we're getting some indication in chat that the fire spell is linked to thunder. Oh, that's a thing. The thing is probably... J Copper is suspecting that, so that's why he's uh, getting his his magic uh, level up. Because, well, when you fire is uh, linked to thunder, you can get it to cost very low for you if you get some magic levels and and cast it several times per per life bar, so per magic bar. I'm sorry. Yeah, and that makes things in GP even easier when you can just spam thunder all over the place. Yeah, and the thing you can see is that China is doing exactly the opposite. He's doing, he's getting his life and his attack levels up and he is getting his magic uh, slowly uh, grown. So the, uh, we're gonna see how big of a of a role that turns to be out in Great Palace because as I told you before Darkling can be one room to the right so uh, Thunder is useless against Darkling so we'll see we'll see what Great Palace the great e equalizer that decided last race will do for these players so Jay Cooper's already putting that to good use. He uh, has used it several times now to go you know, to gain levels, um, and now he's got it down to you know 21, which is what one and a little bit more of a magic container. So this is he's really making some good progress here, thanks to this nice cheap thunder spell. Yeah, and I believe China realized 
that because well he's in match three so he's not that far behind from from being able to use fire thunder several times Now they're just looking for their way to the west, to the eastern continent at this point, because we know that palaces three and six are over here on the on the west. Don't know if we know what the third palace is over here yet. Yeah, I think we haven't seen it. And uh, well, uh, Jacob goes through Parappa Cave and. And he finds the town of Mido, which I think we haven't seen. Uh, he doesn't get in because, well, he ha he already has the spell out of it, and he already has downstaff, so no no need for him to go into that town. And China is exploring the same portion of land, so but Jay Copper takes a nap and a, which I think means that we already explored that portion of land. Yeah, we are definitely trying to figure out now how to get over to the eastern continent. We do appear to be you know, either cave or Saria blocked. So, uh, you know, Shiner CC picked up the letter from Bagu at some point. I wonder if we are Bagu blocked here. I'm wondering if Saria is the path to get over to the other part of this continent so you can get over to the east. Yeah, the other possibility is in that mountain. That mountain has a connector to another cave so that is also a possibility now we're seeing China take the fairy cave which is another connector so we'll see if that is the answer we still don't know if he entered this for a style I believe this is a new location, but we don't know yet if we have seen this or not. China getting a 200 point key bag here. Meanwhile, Jay Copper is doing the jump cape, which is another connector in this west. It, the west has a lot of connectors, so it's Jump Cave, Parappa Cave, uh, Ferry Cave, and uh, Death Mountain, and the town of Saria. Yeah, so we know the Parappa Cave and the Ferry Cave I don't think connect anywhere. I don't think. Well, Shiner is doing the Piva Cave I don't know if Jay Copper has done it before, he's getting a magic container. I kind of think that Shiner is in a new location, but I'm not sure. Meanwhile, Jay Copper is reaching the end of this uh, jump cave, so we'll see what it takes him. Nope, nope, you're right. You're right, the fairy cave was a connector to this, a new place. Well, and Jay Copper finds another palace, I believe. Which is great palace, so he's gonna get into it. So this is big. He could GG in any moment. Here we go. Well, let's see, do we have a nice, easily accessible Dark Link? Yeah, I think in, in, this, in, in this moment there is no way you don't try first. Because, well, they had the glove, which is the most required thing in the seat. And <laughs> he, has, he has thunder. <laughs> although, al although he didn't do the thunderbird, he could. Because, well, he has fire linked to thunder. So, so thunderbird could be a thing, and he can do it in this moment. Well, he's a good player, and I believe he can kill him with, this, with these levels. It's pretty hard, but it's doable. So, all of, Gra all of GP is thunderbird blocked. Okay, yeah, we just saw that. So, yeah, Thunderbird required. But, yeah, you can do a nerdy Thunderbird. We're gonna see a very, very, very early Thunderbird fight. So, let's hope the, bre the best comes for Jay All Copper. Right. So, let's see if Jay Copper can get it done. He 
has jump and he has reflect. So if he's patient and you know, if he just takes his time and is patient with this, he might be able to get this done. Yeah, the, the only thing that could stop these players from doing great palace in this moment, I believe, is the spell of fairy, which is required in some out uh, in some of the rooms. Also, I don't know if they have app stuff. They haven't used it, so I believe they don't. That could also be a, a block in, in great palace. Meanwhile, Shiner finding this Raru. Yeah, this is Dauru. Mm -hmm. um, so, gonna get the free spell here, and, and let's see what it is. So, yeah, Jay Copper doing a great fight against Thunderbird, not getting hit even once. Of course, Thunderbird is taking a lot of hits per bar, so this is gonna be a long fight. He's gonna be have to be patient and be very focused during the whole fight. The reflex spell saving him from one hit there. So yeah. Meanwhile, Shiner is getting to the east. He found the Raftile and he's finding uh, a, a Piba cave in the east. So he's gonna get an item there. You know, I'm surprised, and, I, and Chad has alluded to this, I don't think Shiner has tried the fire spell yet, so I don't think he knows that fire is linked to thunder. That is definitely a thing. It has happened to me, well, earlier, but it happens. <laughs> you, you, you don't realize. There's a lot of information, especially in, in Max Brando. For example, Jay Coppers decides to, to get out of there. He needs some levels, maybe the spell of life or something. So yeah, and uh, yeah, Max Brando has a lot of things, the, the things you start with, and sometimes there is too much information in your hand, and sometimes you don't realize that you have the key in your hands. So it looks like Coper's gonna grind a little bit, of course he get screwed out of some experience by a, by a red jar drop. Yeah, and good thing that those Dairas are 200 points, so this is not gonna take long for him. The thing is that fire spell is still is a, a bit expensive, so he can only cast it, I believe, uh, twice. Oh no, he can cast it three times, so... Yeah. Now let's see what he does, if he dead abuses or if he goes into a town or what way he, he refills his thunder spell. He's yeah, gonna get into a cave. I wonder if he would just up A at Great Palace right there. Oh, but then he loses the experience, so he doesn't want to do that. Well, now it's Shiner's turn to to do the Thunderbird dance if he decides to. So, yeah, this could be anyone's race. Coper's very happy to see that magic container. Okay, yeah, in chat they are saying that, well, except Shiner doesn't know about Thunder, so yeah, probably we're gonna see him getting out of Great Palace. And he does. Yep. Yeah, Thunderbird was in the room to the right and a one up in the room to the left. So that is a very 100% required Thunderbird. Now Coper has found a town who probably grab a magic refill and the free spell because why not? Yeah, in this moment the, the spells uh, shield and life will help a lot. Also, the fairy spell is something 
that could play a role in in Great Palace. So. It could indeed. So yeah, it's shield that China already got, but now it will help a lot in the Thunderbird fly fight, I believe. Because I believe Thunderbird in this moment is killing you with only one hit, so maybe he can pull off being killed by two hits, which will give him a chance. But he decides to to go into the east and get some more experience. Yeah, I wonder if he's going to check for some free items in, in this continent too. See if he can't pick up maybe a heart container or two, or you know, another, another magic container. Yeah, if I were him, I will grind that Thunderbird at least. I don't know, like two game overs I will do for that Thunderbird. He's right there. If you game over, he's in the next room. So, and I, I believe getting a, a, a flawless victory on on Thunderbird is pretty hard, but it is doable. And of course, Jay Cooper gets all excited to see a, to see a, a peep. Fifty points. Yeah, he's very close to a level. Yeah, and that'll give him attack four. Yeah, if I were him, I would be grinding for attack. Attack, I believe, is the deciding factor with Thunderbird. Because, well, there is a huge difference between hitting Thunderbird 76 times to hitting him, I don't know, 30. So, attack can be uh, uh, very helpful. Yeah, absolutely. Finding, I believe that was Darunia. Yeah, pretty useless. Well, he can get up stop there, but he cannot get any spell out of there because he already has it. Now he's gonna. He tried to see if that was Palace 2 because, well, Palace 2 has the Dreepers that can drip very uh, good experience randomly. next attack level. You know, that palace that he just checked into, which palace was that? Was that palace one? I don't know. The, the one that he checked outside, I think it was palace five. Oh, palace five, okay. Yeah, because well, that one can, can be palace two or palace five, but it didn't have any jar or knight in in there so so that was palace 5 so shiner getting to great palace again let's see how the dance goes with thunderbird yeah he, he didn't know he was low on levels so he up an ace and refills his levels and goes to see what his destiny has in mind for him. Alright, so let's see if Shiner can make a little bit more headway on Thunderbird here than Jake Hoper did. Yeah, the thing now is that this great palace could be a bit long. Early Thunderbird and having a dead end to the left, it, it, it raises a lot the possibilities of Great Palace being long. Oh yeah. So yeah, the, the decision of these players of leveling up a little bit before taking on this, I think it is it is it is a very very good decision because this Great Palace can hide a lot of things behind this Thunderbird. Oh, meanwhile, Jay Coper has found... I missed which enemies they are, but they're, they're, he's found an enemy that gives him 300 experience now. Let's see, what is it? It's, a uh, Oh, the Orange Lizalfos. 
Yeah, those are pretty easy to kill and and well that that is a very good price for them. So in this moment Shiner is taking round two on Thunderbird. Uh, we saw that he can take two hits uh, using I believe shield spell. I don't know if he's using reflect. I didn't check what his combination of spells was. I believe he is because he has two magic containers left, so I believe he did everything he could. Yeah, I think so. He's doing very good. In this yeah, moment, he so. really is doing very well with this fight this time. As long as he, as long as he oh, there's the there's the hug that he needs to avoid. Yeah, well, he's in attack four, so. The problem is that when you fight for too long, you start losing your your reflexes. Yeah, you start messing up badly, and well, Thunderbird changes his pattern after a while, so it gets a bit trollier. So round three for Shiner. Uh, now at five four five, and it looks to me like he's gonna go make another attempt at this. Yeah, I believe he's he is not using reflect, so that is some that is kind of a mistake because well, reflect saves you from a lot of fireballs. So yeah, that was something I uh, when I, when I was be, uh, starting to run this, I didn't use to use the the reflect spell, but well, it it really changes the game with Thunderbird. Okay, so in chat they are say, telling me that he did cast Reflect, so... Yeah, I just didn't see that. So, we are getting the same fight on both streams, so let's see who does the Thunderbird thing first. Yeah, so, Koper actually able to cast all three, a Shield, a Reflect, and the Fire Spell for Thunder. Yeah, he's on attack 5, so the, the the fight will be shorter for him. Much shorter, yeah. He's he's making very good work of Thunderbird right here. So yeah, Reflect saving Jay Copper from a hit there. And Jay Copper gets the Thunderbird. Map Copper taking down Thunderbird. So, Map Copper is now going to be the first into the rest of Grand Palace. So, yeah, this moment will, uh, as I told you, the things that can block him out of Great Palace are Upstab and Fairy Spell. So, we'll see if we find those. Meanwhile, Shiner is almost there, but he's almost dead too, and he gets him, wow, that's, that was very good attack for battle for, for Shiner, so congrats to him for getting Thunderbird this early. Very good, alright, so... So, Jay Copper finding a dead end in the left side of this palace, he's gonna see if there is a jar, and he gets the jar. Meanwhile, Shiner up an ace to 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 get a refresh on his life and and le and, and and magic containers and and life co and heart containers. So so let's see what we get here. We get Coper in a room with a whole bunch of angry chickens, angry birds, I suppose. Yeah, the bird is the word in Great Palace, and well, Jay Copper taking a drop that leads him to this choice where he can take the right or the left. He's gonna take the right, he's almost dead. He doesn't have the spell of life, which in this palace is very useful, especially when you are in life 5. 
Yeah, and meanwhile, to... Shiner is in a room where you kind of need Abstab, but well, he finds a way using the jump spell. Oh, and Copers found Dark Link. Okay, so. Uh, unless anything very, very, very tragic happens. Jay Copper has got in this race, so let's see. He has three more tries <laughs> at Dark Link, but I believe this will be free for and him. Shiner is also on the right path if he just goes right here. This is the right path to take. I think one. Okay, step. so we're tied, okay. <laughs> well, we're like five minutes, five seconds of difference here. Well, except that uh, Shiner is almost dead, no? Yeah, Shiner's almost dead, so let's see, is he good? he's gonna try to... Hope, oh, this is... <laughs> oh my god! Wow. That oh, could have been Shiner very close. Death. Yeah, that could have been very, very close. And right. ladies and gentlemen, get out your GG's. Jay Coper has finished first place in this seed with an official SRL time of 29 minutes and 46 seconds. Yes, a sub-60. Yeah, this was, wow, this was a seed, man. It was a very free seed, only a matter of leveling up and, well, getting the Thunderbird thing done as quick as, quick as possible. And Shiner just realized that, that Jay Copper won, so he's doing the swag, playing Dark Link the, the brave way. <laughs> the the way I'm sure most of us played it the first time. And he does it. Wow, the swag. So congrats on Shiner for doing a Thunderbird at level attack level four and a Dark Link with legit with legit strats. So yeah, that that's that's very good for him. Wow, that, that deserves a lot of respect. And ladies and gentlemen, Shiner CC has finished in second place in the seat with an official SRL time of 30 minutes and 57 seconds. So officially a 1 minute and 11 second difference. So while we wait on Jay Coper and Shiner to join us for a quick interview, I just want to let you know that the last match of the second round of the Swiss stages here has been scheduled Ryan versus Ryan 7 versus Yunos and it'll be tomorrow afternoon at 201 p.m. Eastern time yeah that is gonna be a good race because well uh, Ryan 7 uh, well Yunos is a legendary player in in, in the Zelda to randomizer thing and he has won third tournaments uh, so he has the advantage but well Ryan 7 has a thing for for early exploration and Max Randall favors him uh, in in the style he plays so so it, it could be a very good match depending on, on, on what gets thrown to the players there so so yeah don't lose that match because don't miss that match because it will be good and with those dings, we have both Jay Coper and Shiner Triple C joining us. Great match, you guys. That that was insanely close. What did you guys think? Uh, mass regret for me. <laughs> I'll talk about it later. I'll let Jay Coper speak first since he, he won. Or maybe he's still getting pushed to talk set up. I mean, I, I can talk about what I did. Sorry. It was pretty exciting for me because I, I got into Dark Link's room and saw, <gasps> Jay Coper hasn't finished yet! Wow, I almost got it, but then I didn't. <laughs> and I hear Jay Coper now. Jay Coper, GG. Yeah, thank you. Um, I This is the lowest um, levels and resources that I've ever beaten uh, Thunderbird with. And considering that it was, you know, 20-something minutes in that I acquired the resources, it was plenty of of uh it was it maybe maybe actually i've had harder thunderbird fights like level six or seven with no uh supporting spells but uh yeah 
that was rough for me, so I decided to back out and get some more levels, and, um, you know, I, I'm sure ideally this seed could be done in probably under 10, 15 minutes at most uh, for a lot of the top runners, but, you know, I don't have that that level of uh, Thunderbird experience, so I just did what I could to make it seem like I'd have a really good shot of getting through him and then, you know, followed the go right and that <laughs> led me to Dark Link, so... Uh, man, so I'd, I'd like to hear uh, what happened with Shiner, though. Well, I finished with pretty decent levels. Like, what levels did you actually finish with? I think I finished with, like, 445 for levels. Yeah, I'm, I'm at 545. Five. You got to attack 5, wow. Yeah, uh, you know, I just, I went east on the raft, and then I was just uh, thundering a bunch of uh, orange lizard men for 300 each. Oh, I never found orange lizards. Uh, how long did it take you to figure out that fire also casts thunder? Uh, not very long. Well, I, it, oh, okay. a couple minutes, maybe. <laughs> like, I didn't. I didn't think about it at first. I. I didn't even. Um, I. I didn't even look at the spell costs closely. I just saw three spells down my list. Nothing that really struck out to me. Stuck out to me at first, and. Um, I. I saw big numbers, and I kind of thought I can't. I can't even cast any of them. When I get a magic level, then I'll start to worry about them. And then I realized, oh, I can cast fire. And I better check it. So, yeah. I, I did that when I was in one encounter and the enemies disappeared. And I said, okay, so this kind of seed. Yeah. Um, and then I uh, got into GP and saw the situation there. Went right, saw Thunderbird, went left, saw the one-up. And yeah, just, uh, well, this, this is not the kind of thing that I'm looking forward to. But uh, <laughs> got to do it now. So... Well, it was completely the opposite for me. I saw that I had fire and it cost 64, so you could cast it with magic one. The first time I cast it was in a dark cave with no enemies on screen, and I just used it to sort of, like, clear a path forward. Um, I found out that Thunder was entangled with fire completely by accident, and as soon as I did, I was like, oh, wow, I bet the commentators were like, oh, there goes Shiner, he's figured it out. <laughs> and so I just went back to Great Palace shortly after that. Well, I leveled up one more time. I just went and, because I was like 200 experience away from a level up, what did I even get? I think I got one more life up, yeah. And then I went back across the water to Great Palace and, yeah, fought Thunderbird, it took me two or three tries, and then uh, started going right and found Dark Link right away. I didn't have any trouble finding Dark Link. It just took me a few tries to beat Thunderbird with attack four. And really, then that, you know, yeah, minute and 11 difference, but really what that came down to is that one extra attack level. <laughs> Uh, Jay Cope, because you had started Thunderbird before Jay Coper did, and killed before you did because of that attack five. Oh, really? It came down like that? That's amazing. Yeah, I mean, it was, and and as you had mentioned, you had gotten to Dark Link right you know, before Jay Coper even finished, and that's because Jay Coper walked in with even less health than you did, and took an intentional death to refill his health. Yeah, yeah, I also reset after beating Thunderbird to refill my health. Even though I had a ton of lives. I don't know if that was a good idea, really. Oh, uh, no, I, I figured that, um, it, like, Thunderbird was a thousand and we were close to a, a magic level there, so I didn't take it. But then I dropped and, uh, immediately got confronted with the situation where I needed, <laughs> like... I don't think there was any getting through that room without magic, so I I looked for a jar quick and find and got one. Well, actually, I was looking for an alternate route, and ended up in the the drop room and got the the jar out of it. Um. But uh. Yeah, uh, that that was uh that was nice to find. It turned out not necessary at all because GP was just so short. But, oh, that was another thing that held me up. I, I was trying to imagine what room you were talking about. Like, huh? I don't think there were any difficult rooms that required magic. But I guess there was, yeah, there was the drop room with the, the blue chicken in it. Yeah. But one Killing Thunderbird got me from magic 3 to magic 4. 
which changed the cost of fire from 52 to 21. Mm -hmm. So I, I cast jump and I don't have upstab, so I'm trying to bust through the bricks. And then I go, oh wait, I should probably just get rid of these chickens. And so a fire cost 21, so I just blasted them with thunder twice. And then realized, wait, I can just jump through the fake part of the floor. That was way easier. So if yeah, I, yeah. I probably, it would have been way closer if I got through that room faster too. But I just like thought it, thought a little better, I guess. Perhaps, yeah. I just, I cast fire once to get rid of the, the orange uh, one on the ground and the, and the uh, rope shooting the fire as well. Just to clear out the room a little bit. And then I cast jump and went up and around so uh yeah that was interesting <laughs> yeah that was and it was a really great race between you two and you know, really and entertaining I and mean, you know the the zero the, the zero gem seeds it's but they're fun to watch because it's just all right so what's the strategy and you guys had a little bit of different strategies but they both work i mean you all both almost sub 30 this seed which is amazing so you know props to you guys well done well, Jake Hooper did, but I didn't. But yeah, my, my strategy was just, okay, find Great Palace and see if Thunder is required. And then I found out pretty quick that Thunder was required. But little did I know, I already had Thunder. <laughs> uh, Victor, any any more questions for Jake Hooper or Shiner uh, CCC before we sign off for the night? No, I think we're covered up with that. So congratulations to the runners. They did great. Well, so, uh, yeah, the thing about Max Rando is that you get thrown to you a lot of information, so sometimes you miss things like, well, you have thunder and you can cast it, so, yeah, that's the thing. But, yeah, I, I will encourage, I, I have no, I am not qualified to do this because I'm, I'm a very bad player in Zelda to randomizer, but, uh, well, if I were Jay Copper, I would have tried at least twice more uh, against Thunderbird when he came the first time and well uh, I believe that would have made a, a difference because well uh, you were doing a very good fight against him the first time you just needed to be a little bit more consistent so yeah but but anyway congratulations and congratulations to China because well he did Thunderbird at attack 4 which is very 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 impossible for many of us and uh, well he did the dark link fight uh, the legit way so that was uh, some yeah. swag there i had to uh, give uh, you guys a freestyle dark link since i lost <laughs> <laughs> that was that was that was fun to see and as i said that's how we all did it when we first beat this you know the, the vanilla way back years and years and years ago i'll tell you my thoughts on um on uh the uh just going right back at thunderbird um i i felt like yeah i probably could do thunderbird at uh where i was but i um i didn't want to have a another lawn fight and then fail again like it i i wanted i was more worried about how time consuming the fights were than anything else so i just wanted if i was going to fail to for it to be quicker and you know to win quicker so um i, I just didn't want to sit there and have attempts that were several minutes long every time so i figured it was faster to go and get some levels anyway because um it you know maybe dark link was going to be really fast after that but maybe i was going to be wanting those levels later in GP. And I think I also didn't have very many spells at all at that time. I didn't have... Maybe I had jump? 